So October is Down Syndrome Awareness Month, and I personally wanted to do this segment because I have been touched um, by Down Syndrome in a different way before. I feel like I felt a little bit intimidated um, previously, but I've become friends with my sweet Jamie Bradford here, and you've just really opened up my eyes to to the there's it's not differences everybody is so alike and just being inclusive and it's just really it's opened my eyes up and made me more aware and I just wanted to bring awareness to that here with these precious moms we've got Amy Lamoureux Jamie Bradford and Sheila Holyfield and they're local moms with lots of kids um, but specifically you have some precious children that also have Down syndrome tell us about them Elena is eight and she goes to Meadowview Elementary School and she's in dance at Joy's Dance Company mm -hmm. and she's just loving life. A fireball. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. What about you? Gracie is five, almost six, and she's in kindergarten and right now she's loving riding horses and having dance parties every day after school. And she <laughs> loves sugar and dessert. She loves it. We are the same person. Okay. Um, I have Anson. He's almost nine. Um, he's also at Meadowview. And right now he is playing fall ball for the City League. Cool. All right. Tell me about when you found out. Now, Down syndrome specifically, tell us what mm -hmm. this is. So Down syndrome is when you have three copies of the 21st chromosome. Okay. So kids are born with it randomly. Okay, so, so no, nothing yeah. is causing that yeah. we know. It's just a, a random occurrence. It's a random occurrence. Okay. Actually, one in 700 kids are born with Down syndrome. Okay. And it just causes or it can cause some delays um, physically and mentally, um, but each kid's different. Mm -hmm. And you know one thing that you posted about that I thought was very eye-opening to me? There is not severe cases or mild cases. You either have it or you don't. Mm -hmm. Right. That's yeah. correct? Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, there there can be like a milder form they say but you never really know how it's going to affect you yeah you it's know? individual just right. like any other kid like right. everybody's different and yeah. it's going to develop differently mm -hmm. yes yeah. okay definitely so tell us about when you first found out and how that affected you um, I, I had a normal pregnancy. I was 30 years old and went in for my C-section. Elena was born and um, we got up to the room and one of the doctors said we want or the doctor said we want to test Elena, do some genetic testing. We think she may have Down syndrome and I was like, what? I mean, I was just, we were floored, yeah. and um, 24 hours later, the test results came back, and she did have Down syndrome, and it was just um, a really heavy feeling. I remember time standing still, and just thinking that our world was over. I remember right. thinking, what, how am I going to do this? What surgeries is she going to have to have? How are we going to help her? I don't know what I'm doing. Right. And it was just a lot of fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. And I, I really wish I could go back to that moment because it was something that I wish I wouldn't have had to experience. I wish I would have known yeah. that everything was going to be okay. Because mm -hmm. it is, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yes. What about you guys? So I, we found out when I was 15 weeks pregnant with Gracie and I had a blood test, just a generic blood test they do, come back positive. But my OB was like, no worries, you're 29. Like, it's probably just a false right. positive. So I got another blood test done and it was sent off and it came back positive as well. And I honestly didn't handle it <laughs> great. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I didn't know anything about Down syndrome. I had, like Sheila said, a lot of fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. But we started reaching out. We met a couple that had a grandson with Down syndrome. I had another friend um, introduce me to two mamas that had kids with Down syndrome. And I remember going back from that um, party and just telling my husband, like, I think it's gonna be okay. Like, they looked normal. These children were beautiful. And sure enough, when Gracie got here, um, I didn't want anybody else to hold her. I just <laughs> held her and was like, it is okay. Like, yeah. she's she's beautiful, she's perfect. Like, she's our plan A. And I'm glad I, as hard as it was, I'm glad I knew because now I can tell other people that have a prenatal diagnosis, however you feel right now is okay, yeah. <laughs> but you're not going to feel that way forever Yeah, because that was so true for us. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. What about you, Amy? Um, Anson is my third child and he is the first that was conceived naturally. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we struggled for years with fertility and um, we knew when we went in for our C-section, the minute they showed us pants and I was like what is wrong with his nose okay so you could tell I something. could tell yeah. something and um later they came to the room and 
said, you know, we want to run these genetic tests. We think he has Down syndrome. And I was like, okay. And we actually had friends in the room there. And, and you know, we didn't really know, what do you say? What what, it, right. what is Down syndrome? Right. We didn't know. And um, my friends were like, it's okay. And it really was okay. Um, but there are scary things, you know. What extra therapies, surgeries, uh, you don't know. Right. Um, and there's not really a manual for you because <laughs> each one of our kids is different. Right. Um, so, you know, it was tough, but uh, we've worked through it. He's almost nine, and I think we're doing okay. <laughs> and I love that that's how these stories, and they start with this fear, and mm -hmm. there's just so much unknown, mm -hmm. and it's ending here it's not really ending it's still going on this journey but it is okay and you guys all have perfect beautiful children i think you said it great they are plan a they are not plan b yeah. um this was exactly how god designed them to be and i love that mm -hmm. now bringing awareness to this especially with our kids i think it's the thing it starts at home with the parents yeah. and how you teach them mm -hmm. how are you guys bringing awareness to this in your in your lives well one of the biggest things for me that i like to advocate about is that our children um, have differences all of our kids do and we should celebrate those differences and that it's okay and um that you know they have different interests and all all kids with down syndrome don't all re react the same mm -hmm. they don't all do the same things they're they're it's okay that they do things differently or a little bit you know slower than others they're still going to be able to do it yes and um we should celebrate those differences mm -hmm. i love that for sure mm -hmm. i have an organization called more alike than different and we just create awareness um through shirts and doing things through schools um and it's when i whenever i held gracie i just remember thinking like she's a baby just like my older son yeah. gage like she's so much more alike him than she is different. And so through that, we just try to advocate for our kids and just encourage people to see the child, not see the disability. And yes. so see Gracie, see that she loves Curious George and desserts and like playing in the pool. This is Gracie, Right. that's who she is. This know? is not Down syndrome, right. Gracie. This yes. is Gracie, she happens to have Down Absolutely. syndrome. Yeah. And I, you you taught me that too. Yeah. We're doing, we're talking people first. Exactly yes. right. And then they just happen to have Down syndrome, mm -hmm. right? And what about you, Amy? Um, my husband and I have um, a family uh, charity we call Down for the Ride. Mm -hmm. um, and we do fundraisers for Down syndrome Alabama. Last year we did a poker run and raised over $1,300 for them. Awesome. Um, and then last month we did um, a benefit ride for Angel Warriors Foundation, which is also an alabaster special needs organization. We love the Angel Warriors. Yes. Um, and then through the schools, we're trying to unite our kids together. Um, they're all warriors. We just have a little bit of super on our kids. Yeah. And, um, you know, they all have the heart of a warrior and they want to be included in um, all the school events, the community events. Um, so, you know, the support and acceptance that we get from the community and all the other kids in our school system is a huge blessing. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for sharing this with me. I think some just being honest and if you have questions just ask yeah. i text jamie random questions all the time <laughs> just because i want to make sure that i am constantly learning and knowing how to um the right way to do things and you have taught me and you guys have all taught me that they are so much more alike than they are different and we need to treat them that way yeah. yes. they are precious and wonderful plan a's perfect that god has made thank you for sharing them with us and guys just continue to just raise awareness for down syndrome especially the month of october and thank you guys so much thank, thank you, you. So much. thank you